Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part five of Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. I'm going to point out a couple of quick changes before we go on our next mission. First of all, I gave our medikit to the sniper and I've changed his uniform to red so that we can keep track of him more easily. And then I also purchased a nanofiber vest and have equipped that on our heavy, which will hopefully improve her survivability a little bit. In general, this is something that uh, I really want to focus on for this mission. We've had a rough couple of outings here, and it's Touching really down. time to bear down, kind of draw the a line in the sand, and, you know, Local get some completed missions, some successful missions, no casualties. We can't afford them. We have just got to start getting promotions and keep these guys alive. So... This is a new beginning, and we are going to make it happen. Let's take a look at this map. So it looks like we could go on the roof, if that's what we want to do. Uh, obviously, we have some sort of garage here. Uh, there's some meld. That's good to know early. I wonder if we could kind of hop the wall and come over this way. It looks like we can. So how about if we do something like this? Moving to position. That's what we're looking for. So we have four turns to get over there. And I have no idea if, um, you know, we're going to encounter a bunch of aliens en route. Aye, aye. I would like to kind of stay over here and at least have a chance to not activate anybody, any aliens specifically. We'll go ahead and put a pistol in his hands, go on Overwatch. So we're going to try to kind of hug this corridor and... Um, yeah, see if it works. See if we can get over there. E. Alright, well, I'm not crazy about the half cover, but what am I going to do? On my way. Dare I go one more tile for the full cover? I'll chance it. Alrighty. And... I suppose... Pose since I know it's safe. Yeah. Moving All right. I'll move, move him up. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Scanning. Having at least one guy on Overwatch in case a patrol comes does not seem like a bad idea. Shut up. Listen. Uh, speaking of patrols. Well, we actually hit. I think that was my sniper hitting with the pistol. Okay, well, that complicates things because I only have two turns to get over here. Which, by the way, is kind of ridiculous considering I've pretty much been moving at full speed. Um, I mean, you know, how much quicker could I possibly have done this? I still at least have a chance. So, is this even worth it? I'll go ahead and try. It is behind full cover. Now, I was just about to say, the bad thing is if I keep moving forward and I, if I activate another group, of course that's what happens. All right, let's see. Well, the bad thing is she could get shot uh, if I stay here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. All right, that's one down. I definitely feel like you know if we can put this first group down on the ground quick, that would help a lot. All right, what I was trying to do is figure out if there was any way I could flank him. Clearly, that's not going to happen. 
he has got uh, a great bit of cover. Okay. So we'll go here. Wow, I still can't see him either. Um, now this would be very risky. There could be somebody back there. We don't know. So maybe what I do is I just go ahead and I put a uh, rifle in his hands and I'm gonna put him on Overwatch. And I'm gonna put him on Overwatch. Now, um, I don't really have a good shot here and I don't like shooting through a car. If I miss, I could actually uh, set this car on fire and then have it detonate on me. And uh, I'd rather not do that for fairly obvious reasons. Yeah, um, I think I'll go on Overwatch. Although that makes it more likely that I'll miss. You know what, I'm just gonna hunker down. Let's see what happens. I hear a mind meld going on out there. So he ran into my overwatch and he paid the ultimate price. So the first group is down. And I can get this meld. I don't know yet how many turns we have to recover the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and position myself to take advantage of the cover. Okay, I'm pretty happy about this. Wow, we have seven turns to get that. Um, what's going on? Why? Okay, there it goes. I couldn't see the little thing saying I could collect it. Okay, 70%, and that's great. It's not that I'm not going to take a shot. I am. I just want to see if I can also get a shot from this guy. That doesn't even look like cover. I'm kind of amazed that he's there, to be honest with you. Let's see. Yeah, wow. that This thing is amazing cover, but... Um, for my purposes right this moment, it's almost bad. All right, so she does not have line of sight. So I'm a little anxious about this, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the shot, especially because I just realized this one is mine melded with that one, and if I kill it, they're both dead. So here's hoping. And of course, I missed by a mile. So that's not ideal. And I have to be careful. You know, I was going to run forward, but the reality is like if I did something like dashed here, uh, there could be a group in the corner of this garage or something. We don't know that. So it's pretty dangerous uh, to go running up that way. I could do something like coming up to here, and I think I will. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to get behind the half cover. So, I'll do that. I'll come here. And I don't know how I'm going to get this guy closer. This is pretty horrible. He's going to do me no good at all back here. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll move to this corner and I'll reload. And put him, or her rather, on Overwatch. Now I have to hope that neither one of these two kills my support. Okay. Okay on the first shot. Alright. Okay. Okay. Now, very important that I remember this guy is on Overwatch. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to kill both of them with a rocket. Can I even kill one? I could. Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, it doesn't mean that's really what I want to do. 
So I'm going to take a chance. Okay. Oh, and I still can't even see this one. Wow. Okay. All right. Wow, he's going to be so useless. Because when I move, I'm exposing him to flanking. Not... Nah. All right, um, here is what we're going to do, I think. Yeah, I can I can use a smoke grenade and cover this whole area. So what if I did something, I've already moved my heavy. What if I did something like move him here on a dash and then use a smoke grenade to help keep us alive? Moving to designated coordinates. Now, uh, he is on Overwatch, but dashing, I get a significant uh, bonus to my defense. So, it's not as reckless as it looks like. Admittedly, it, you know, it is a calculated risk, though. All right, and then I'll go ahead and bring him forward. Oh, you can't hop that stupid fence, except, all right. He's on the 10-year plan to get to the front line. All right, um, I'll put her on Overwatch and smoke grenade it up for these two. Yeah, no way I'm really going to get anything better than this, so here we go. And this is going to give each of them like 60 defense, so if they hit me through that, I don't know what to say. All right, he's moving forward, which I kind of like. I get to take my Overwatch shot. Not that it worked. Does make me feel better about going on Overwatch, though. Wow. Yep. Ah, uh, all right. That makes it more complicated. I wish he could have killed one. That would have come in really handy just now. And they scattered, you know, my rockets are not good. So now she's flanked, which is horrible. Okay, we are going to move her back here. As much as it hurts me to uh, move away, I obviously can't leave her flanked. And I can't leave her flanked. And uh, with enemies over here and over here, there's not a lot of great places to be. So I think what I'm going to have to do is come back this way. And... Alright, you move here. Hunker down. It really kills me that I'm giving up the smoke grenade for her. Not that it helped him any. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hunker down. Ditto. And I guess the same. I'm very concerned about this one flanking me. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not really worried about collecting that meld right now. I'm more worried about getting out of here alive. Oh, I hate it when they destroy my cover. At least there was only one close enough to take that shot. Man, and it's like... I swear, these guys are just uh, trained to avoid grouping for rockets because they're as far apart as they can possibly get. Well, I think I bring him over here. Uh, of course. See, we were all hunkered down, so I didn't even know one of them was on Overwatch. But at least he's alive, so... 
There's that. Now, I'm guessing... Yeah. Oh, you know what? 47% chance... I can kill two of them if I take him out. You know what? Let's see if I can do this. Yep. I'm going for it. Rockets away. I gotta do this. I gotta start thinning this out. This is gonna go horribly wrong if I don't start killing these guys. So we're down to two now. Now, do I have... Nah, not really. I don't really have a shot. Wow. Well... 30%, it's not really going to get it done, is it? So, I could move her, like, here or something, but what I really need to do, I so wish I had run and gun, because I could just come over here and jam this guy up. But, unfortunately, as it is, I think I just need to move her like here and that at least gets her out of uh, trouble with one of them and then yeah I'm gonna hunker down with him as well and this guy I'm gonna put on overwatch although that's dicey because he's got one health but now, I don't believe he can flank any... Oh, he can. Well, I got lucky. I did not think he would be in range of anybody that he could flank. But he's going to pay the price next turn. Although, that makes it a lot harder to do what I want to do. I think what that means is it's grenade time. Um, yeah. Actually, before I do that, I need to figure out how I'm going to kill this other guy. Because <laughs> the pistol <laughs> may not be quite what I want. Yeah. So if I move, I can't fire the rifle. And even with a crit, I think I'm only going to do two damage. Yep. This is not ideal. Can I possibly... I only have two grenades. I could get close enough with her to kill him using a grenade. And so the question is, can I get close enough with him Yeah, that's my only option. Right? Oh no, if I if I run he's gonna <laughs> He's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot. And without dashing I won't have the stupid bonus. Alright, I have a forty percent so forty seven percent chance shot here. We're gonna we're gonna take it. See that could have gotten me off the hook, so of course it didn't happen. That is not ideal. That is not ideal. All right, look, he's a rookie. So if I have to do something hyper aggressive that could get somebody killed, it should be on the rookie. Does look like I would have enough distance. It really comes down to um, living, you know, just getting there. So here we go. He's got some cover. I think. No. Alright. I mean, it was a calculated risk. And. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a bit of a pickle here. Yeah, I should not have fired with the heavy.
Okay. Well, I think the best I can do is go on Overwatch and then hope I kill him if he moves. But yeah, that's what I was afraid of. He used that as cover. Wow. Play poorly, get rewarded. That was my strategy all along. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, except sectoids and rookies. Taken care of. Chalk up another one. Wow. Yeah, the big mistake I made that turn was not keeping my heavies overwatch available. I could have kept that guy pinned down and I didn't need to risk my rookie unnecessarily. Um, but I don't know. Then again, if I, I guess I had to risk the rookie no matter what. Because if I didn't do that, then um, I couldn't have saved my sniper. So. All right. Well, I mean, that was kind of a win and lose at the same time. Uh, it was most important to me to keep my, uh, my veterans alive. And I did do that. But unfortunately, uh, we're still just squatties here. So not, not even one promotion out of that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go to Mission Control and, yeah, I know, we're going to lose Australia. Commander, our satellite is All right, by for launch. now we, we need to make to sure we launch orders. that before the Council report. We need to assign new research, we can get scopes now. And I'll go ahead and uh, go Xenobiology. Actually, that's... Uh... Okay, stop. I don't want to get too close to that council report. I might go right through it. So we need to go to the Situation Room. And we need to launch a satellite and... Um... As much as I hate to see Australia go, the reality is I'm not going to take $60 from them when I can get $180 out of the U.S. So, whoop. There we go. All right. So as soon as we get the money for next month, we'll go ahead and order up some new satellites. Incoming transmission. Commander. Unfortunately, one of our members has yep. chosen to discontinue their involvement in the XCOM project. I understand. All right, well, Excellent we got a B, which I think all things considered is not horrible. Uh, honestly, my performance wasn't really a B. We hope that your current success okay, so what I've been doing is um, going through right up to the point we got our next mission. Uh, but I think right now what I want to do, since we have some money is spend some time looking at the facilities. Actually, I guess one thing I can do right now is we should go ahead and order up another satellite uplink. And just to see if I was gonna do another one, yeah, we need 20 engineers for that. And we're at 14 now, so I guess we're okay for next month. If I get even one mission where we get four more, then um, we get a couple as a reward. That would give us 20, so I guess we're all right. Uh, but but I, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and leave it here and then we'll figure out uh, what other facilities or things to buy at the beginning of our next installment. So thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.